Hello everyone, we have another armor set in the Superstore with a combination of perks that is not available in the War Bonds, whether free or the paid one. And that is this armor here, the FS-34 Exterminator. It is a medium armor, but it comes with the armor passive fortify. So on top of further reducing recall when crouching so pruned by 30%, it provides 50% resistance to explosive damage. And I think that second perk right there is pretty useful, especially combined with a medium armor. In the free warbond, the only armors that you find with that 50% resistance is in heavy armors. And I think in a medium armor will probably help better when you're on the automaton side of things where they chuck grenades at you, sometimes rockets, not to mention the mines that they put around. I sometimes walk straight into them because I can't see them. Having this 50% resistance to all that explosive damage, I think it can be very helpful. You are able to move around and not be heavy. It is on the expensive side, it is 400. I think it's one of the most expensive ones that I've seen. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one. I think it's worth keeping. It will come in pretty handy. The other one is the CE81 Juggernaut. It comes with an engineering kit. It further reduces the recall as well by 30% but it also increases the holding capacity of grenades by two. This is another medium, but you have a similar one in the free war bonds. And that is this one, the CE35 Trench Engineer. So it has the same passive perk. It is also a medium. You have it available on page three of the free war bond. So I don't think there is a need to get this one unless you really like the looks of it, then go ahead and get it. But I'm really just shopping for the combination of armor ratings and armor passive. This was just changed a few minutes ago. So you have a little bit less than two days to get it. Thank you all for watching. Go bring more democracy. I see you all in the next video.